were trying to figure out how a man moved into his house, set up utilities, even rented out rooms. NBC4's Kim Baldonado is live outside that home near the Encino Reservoir with more on what this accused squatter is saying. Kim. Uh, Carolyn, a neighbor noticed someone moved in a few weeks ago, and the man told him he was hired to paint and remodel the home, which the neighbor thought was odd because the homeowner had told him he was going to demolish the house. I bought it a year ago and I plan to remodel it, cut all of it down, extend it, make a beautiful... That was Freddie Badinian's plan for this home on a cul-de-sac high in the hills of Encino. Demolition was supposed to start next week to turn it into this, but all that came to a screeching halt. And all of a sudden, I, there's a guy in here, there's four cars in the driveway, change the locks, put water power in his name. Badinian says this man, Frank Aragon, illegally moved into his house, installed security cameras, posted no trespassing signs, then told Badinian he was hired to live here and remodel the home. We tried to like, actually kind of verbally force him out, and then he started pulling up squatters about rules and laws. And... We were with Badinian when he went to the Los Angeles police station to file a report. Now I got my attorneys trying to do the eviction process. We got cops trying to come up again to talk to him today uh, because he has no paperwork, no nothing, no lease agreement. And we were there as the LAPD arrived and tried to make contact with Aragon, but no one came to the door. I've left a message for Frank Aragon, but have not heard back. We've been looking into his background, and he does have a criminal history. We'll have more on that coming up on the Channel 4 News at 6. Reporting live in Encino, Kim Maldonado, NBC 4 News. Thank you.